Here it is. Here he is, the famous Jeff yes. from Hit the Road Tours. We meet at last. Let's hit the road. Excellent. <laughs> we were talking about the impact that this kind of work has. Yeah. And yeah, I've had people tell me that they've moved here because of my videos, that they're coming on vacation because of my videos. So Ireland, you're coming. I'm coming yeah. for you. Sorry, brother, you can't, huh. uh, you can't use that. It's not allowed. <laughs> it's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> the ponytail fall or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good with naming things, except cars. It's the only thing I can name. Don't ask any difficult questions, Ru, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm testing you, I'm testing you. <laughs> it is pretty warm. This is a two-way road, by the way. So, you do have to move over every now and then. So, Charlotte, what breed of goat is that one? <laughs> That's the, 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 the bearded goat. Mm. Charlotte breeds goats. Oh yeah? yeah? Oh wow. So then, so for real you'll know what beard, what, what beard that is. <laughs> Santa the Slayer. And the place where you bought your poncho when you were there, is it called Granny's House? Translated to English or something similar? Yes, uh, Granny's... Uh, Granny's, what's the word? Uh, it's like the granny oh, shack. Granny's kitchen or something like that. Yeah, like uh, 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 a vendor. It's like, yeah, it's like a stall, yeah. the granny stall, the granny shack, the granny and stand. I something got like the that. owner, Lewis, to play with the peel. Is it called the peel, that little spinning top? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh, uh, that market's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I love that market. Unfortunately, I went there and I wasn't hungry because I'd just eaten. So I made that mistake. I would have loved to have tried some of the food. So. And what happened, it was pouring down with rain that afternoon. So rather than stay in my Chico and do nothing, I thought I'd head up there to do something different. Right. Get you guys out here first and then I'll park the car. So Jeff, here's to your health. Can I smell it? Yeah. It's... Oh, it smells great. I can't <laughs> drink it though, but you can have it. So. Cheers. Saud, as they say. Saud. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jeff. Let me see if I can put this quash on. Mm. I'll get them to gulp it down. But is there a spot on the way where I can get the drone up and Cheers follow the, the jeep car, yeah. from up above yeah, without yeah, any yeah. trees getting in the way? Uh, Kind of, yes. It's my friend Rue. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> we're out on, uh, this is the second shift. So now we're out on the sunset. It's been a long, long, long day. So we've been busy and yeah, we're out to Pico de Vadiedo. We're gonna get some drone shots for Rue's vlog. And uh, I've got the mic over here, you can see. <laughs> so I'm vlogging, I'm working. We're doing everything today, eh? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be good, so. 
What a day to be uh, on the way to Pico 28 for sunset. It's gonna be beautiful, so we'll show you in a bit. And well, don't forget, follow me on YouTube, Roo Photography and Travel. Same on Facebook as well. All right. Thank you. Obrigado. Yeah, obrigado, Roo. Yeah, so you've got the three highest peaks over there on the right hand side. The one on the very left, you can see there's a little ball that looks like a little golf ball. Yeah. That's where they have the radar, that is Pico Duariedo. That's where we are going for the sunset. On the right of that, there is the second highest peak of Madeira. It looks like a couple of towers or like sand castles kind of thing. That's what we call the tower peak, mm. Pico dos Torques. And then next to that one, it actually looks like it's lower which is the highest peak, Pico Goivo. Looks like a volcano. Just, right. just, just beyond that. Yeah, it's beyond, it's much further. The north side, down at the bottom, there is the village of Fayal, the valley. That's Eagle's Rock down there, what looks like a little mini table mountain. And then on the left, on the plateau, on the left there where the sun is, is Santana. So northeast side of the island that we're looking at and then on the left side very soon we'll be able to see Funchal on this side of the mountain. So north, south, west and east behind us. And yeah, we're almost there and we're going to have some time, walk around, take some photos. You don't have a coffee machine with you? <laughs> I do have the coffee uh, machine with me but I think it's a bit late for a coffee. Uh, but if you want one, I can make one for you. Oh. Yes, and I can say I've had a coffee touched by the hand of Jeff. Yes. <laughs> We can try. Yeah. I'll have one with you. Thank you. <laughs> Is that dome, sorry. It's part of the Portuguese Air Force, oh. so it's like a little mini base, yeah. And yeah, it's radar for everything around yeah. the area. So let's see, that looks like it's got about 20 yeah. minutes yeah. on that side, right? Let's see, what does that look 2021? 20, yeah, mm -hmm. 20 minutes. So I'm gonna suggest, and I'm gonna leave you guys to yourself yeah. for just a little bit, just so I can get some work done quickly, yeah. catch up with some things, okay. I want you to explore this area. Hmm. Have you been here before? Your never, route? never, You've never been, been here. No, yet? To either of the Picos. Okay, well, you're gonna love this, man. Yeah. All of you are gonna love this. So, you see this path? Yeah. Just around the corner there, just on the other side of this peak, yeah. this path splits in two. Uh -huh. If you're a little bit afraid of heights, I would suggest going to the right hand mm -hmm. side. But if not, then if you can go to the left, yeah. you're gonna do this great little round bit like this. And you're gonna come back up here, then we'll see the sunset over there. Oh, yeah. I don't like giving time, yeah. but you've got about 10 to 15 minutes okay. in this area. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and I'll wait for you here and then I'll go up with you okay. to the top, okay? So you'll be at this roundabout here? Yeah, right I'll be here. waiting okay. right here. Okay. So, yeah, I'll stay here. So that's Jeff in the Jeep behind me there. And I'm finally here at Pico do Ariero. 
Oh my God, this is so surreal. You can see that radar dome as well behind me. So we're just gonna go for a quick wander before sunset and check out the path in front of me, which is right there. Oh my goodness, this is so surreal. We're above the clouds. There is the sun ready to set. And over there is a the road which Jeff drove us on just a few minutes ago. So let's just see what's around this bend because we're very high up. I think we're over 1500 meters up above sea level. I'll drop the information below in the caption as and when. And let's just see what's around this corner. Even more mountains laden with clouds over there. And we'll just go up these steps. Lottie scooted in front of us. She's leading the way. Now, how's it looking? Oh my goodness. That is just wow. You know what? I think I'll get the flying camera up. Now the sunset is really happening in front of me as Lottie walking in front and a bit of sad news for her. A drone simply fell out of the sky. A propeller came loose. Oh my goodness, it was scary for a moment, but at least she's okay. Right, now back to join Jeff. So now I'm following the trail up past the dome, which is to my right there. As you can see, it's a radar tower of sorts, I believe, for the local military. And we're heading this way. So yeah, one of those days, long days, very lucky, very lucky boy to be out here. I've missed this, I have. I can't wait for the big walk next week. I hope I haven't been blabbing too much for you guys. And I hope you guys are having a great week. So uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Ciao. And here he is. <laughs> quickly bro, quickly. Okay, you've got to be fast. I've got to turn your mic on as well. So. Okay, it's, it's just the, one button, right? It's, uh, hang on, it's the other side. That's it. Okay, cool. okay. Go, go, go. Uh, here it is. We can't miss it. Go right to the top there for the view. <laughs> With a couple of minutes to spare. Oh, 
up these steps. It's over there. Ooh. And here we are. When you're lucky, you're lucky, right? Luckiest guy in the world. Bless you. Absolutely amazing. The sunset of Wednesday, the 26th of April, 2023. When you're ready, try and make sure that everybody comes down together. Yeah. And I'll see you down at the car. Okay. And then next stop is uh, pit stop for uh, drinks and food if you want yeah. and that kind of stuff. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thanks Jeff. See you in a bit. Okay. And there's Jeff, he's just taken a few photos of me. Mm -hmm. I was his model for this evening. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So here's the official altitude of Pico do Ariero and it says 1810 meters. And this is a hike I hope to do for next time once I gain a better fitness. It's PR1, the hike to Pico Riviero and hope I pronounced that right and this is definitely on my bucket list of things to do. So as we're heading back to Funchal, we've taken a final pit stop with Jeff and we've stopped here at Casa Regional da Luta because look at the views of Funchal below. Now, it may not show that well on the camera, but it looks amazing. That's it guys, okay. that's it. So that is it ladies and gentlemen. I've had a brilliant time with my new friend Jeff from Hit The Road Tours of Madeira. And he has shown us some amazing places on route culminating in Pico do... Do Ariero? I can never pronounce it, but we'll practice it, it will come. Okay. So I thoroughly recommend Hit The Road Tours Madeira. I will leave information in the caption below. So Jeff, what did you think? I was thought I, it was pretty good. Eh? Was I as bad as you thought I'd be? <laughs> no, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all. Excellent. I can't wait to see the vlog. And all of you guys who are watching, like and subscribe to Ru's channel. I'm sure there's going to be great stuff coming. So, Muito thanks, Ru. obrigado, amigo. Yes. I'm coming there. Oh, thank you, my friend. <laughs> that was amazing. And we had the beast as well. The beast. Yes. Okay, so as Jeff said, do please like and subscribe. So until the next vlog, you all take care. You have a great week and I'll see you again soon. Until then. Bye. Cut. <laughs>